Okay, uh, this is maybe Old Salt Gamer. I'm back on my moon base. Today we're going to talk about cooling. How to cool a base. Remember yesterday, the temperature in my room was above 30 Celsius, and I said it was getting a little too warm. I'm going to have to cool it off. So, I want to talk about cooling on the moon. It's different for every planet. This won't work on many of the other planets. So, maybe I'll do some videos on the other ones, but I'm going to do this one here. Uh, remember, if you like these videos, please subscribe and like. So what I got here is a looped pipe running from inside my room, and I'll show you that in a second, and going up in here. Now, one of the things with cooling is a lot of times you run into trouble of freezing your pipe, so I had to make sure this stayed empty when it's not in use. As you notice, there's nothing in there, and I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to talk real quick about the radiators for the newer people. And I need to get my tool wrench. Uh, there's two type of radiators. That one will not work in a vacuum. It'll work maybe just a little bit, incredibly inefficiently. Now I roll my mouse to one, and I bring that up. That is the one you want in a vacuum. These cool in a vacuum. So again, I got a digital valve, a pressure regulator, and a temperature sensor, and we're going to go inside, and I'm going to show you how I control these. I like to do things a little different. Um, it's one of the fun things about this game, playing around, getting things to work. And this is how I did this. So again, here's the uh, vent, and another vent. This will just circulate through here by this regulator, which I have set to 250. Now you you could, that's not important. I just have it set there. It works. I just have to have that higher than the pressure of the room. Now you notice yesterday it was 30 degrees in here. It's now 25. Uh, because I had this running. It's not running right now because it's not warm enough. So what this does, and I'm going to show you the program. And I did print a laptop because I like the laptops better than the computers. So again, I have the digital valve the gas sensor, which I call sensor interior, and the regulator valve, which is pulling air through that pipe from the room and putting it back into the room. So at the start of this program, I have it load the temperature of the gas sensor, which again, I use D1. I could write sensor to make this more clear, but I like putting the shorter version in here. Here I believe it seems to be a lot easier, and I think that might be the the way they wanted you to do this, but everybody does it different. Now, when the temperature gets above 301.5, which is somewhere around 30 Celsius, it says, okay, that's too warm. I got to turn the AC on. When it's below 295, which is somewhere around 25 Celsius, that's cool enough. Turn the system off. In between those settings, this will just keep looping. When it's hot or too warm, and go down to turn on. I turn on D2, which is the regulator, start pulling air through the system, and I open the digital valve to allow air to enter those pipes. And that circulates through there, goes up through those two radiators at the top in that pipe, and cools the air off that I'm pulling through there, and then the regulator pulls it back into the room as cooler air. That'll keep happening. It'll go to start and until it gets to 295, it'll go from start to down to here and loop like this. Now, once it gets to 295, it jumps to turn off. Turn off, there's an extra step in here. I turn the uh, valve off to stop the air from going into the pipes. And then I wait 20 minutes while the regulator, regulator, 20 minutes, 20 seconds, while the regulator sucks all the air out of the pipe. And then I turn the regulator off. That empties the pipe, keeps me from freezing anything in the pipe. And that's how I am currently cooling my base on Mars. Now, this was 24 degrees. Real quick, you can see it's almost 26. I have a light. I have a battery charger. I have all this electric gear. I have myself breathing in here. It'll warm this room up. It's, it's a common thing on all the stationary games. You have electronics in the room. It's going to warm it up. You're going to need to cool it on 
some planets you're going to need to heat it on some planets uh, very few but yeah you're going to need to heat sometimes too but this is a low cost low energy if i put an ac here it's either going to have to turn the ac on and off which uses 10 watts now the regulator uses more power than at, at worst than than uh, 10 watts but the AC is going to run all the time. It's going to make up more space. I could clean this up and not use any of the space. I could use it for something else. But there you go. Again, maybe old soft gamer. How to cool your base on Mars. I like this method. I don't think I've seen anybody use it before. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen it. And again, I could clean this up. Remember, subscribe and like. And this is episode three of my series. We'll see you in the next.